And hey guys, it's Gaz Montana here, the original demo disc player, before they decided to give an abbreviation, what it was just called, what it was called. I hope everyone's doing alright in Frank. This video here, we have got a guide on the Last Dose missions. Uh, these are five Last Dose missions that just came out this week, and they're very easy actually. We've got some hints and tips with them, but these are pretty easy. These pretty much hold your hand. You can only play them on normal, you can't even play them on hard. They pay out about 30k if you long them out and take over 15 minutes. You're going to be getting a free car for completing these five last dose missions, okay? You've got the acid lab for completing the six first dose missions, but this one, when you do the last dose missions, you get a car which is going to cost you three million dollars normally, okay? So if you wanted to go and buy it from a website, it's going to cost you three million dollars. Also, this car comes with a unique livery, so the only way to get that livery is by doing these missions and getting that car with the livery on it. Now, for a first-time completion of these last dose missions, you're getting a hundred thousand dollars award on top of the money you actually get from the missions. Now, the first dose missions are actually paying out fifty thousand dollars for a first-time completion award, okay? I thought it was double money on the awards because you were getting a hundred thousand dollars on the last dose missions. But no, the awards are actually $100,000 for the last dose mission awards, and the awards for the first dose missions are still $50,000. So do apologize in the guide I put up yesterday for the first dose missions. The payout is a little bit less than I said, but in all in all, for doing all of the first dose and last dose missions for the first time ever, you're getting well over a million dollars, you're getting a three million dollar car, and you're getting the asset lab. Yeah, so this is what you need to be doing right now, plus it's double money and RP on the payouts for these missions. Okay, now the first of these five last dose missions is, this is an intervention now. It's just a siege mission. There's gonna be a lot of enemies coming at you outside the freak shop. Now you've got a nice tunnel here with a lot of cover inside. There's plenty of boxes to, to, to have cover. So if you, even if you're playing this on the hardest difficulty, this little area here is a, a good place to basically hide because you've even got NPCs helping you out as well. Now, you can't spawn your personal vehicle in. I was thinking you might be able to spawn in your armor crewman and jump in it and drive around. You can't do that in this mission. It does not let you spawn it. Now, the other thing you can't do is go on the roof. If you try to go on the roof of the freak shop, there's actually two ladders to go on the roof. The game will basically count down until you're out of bounds. So just stay inside if you're struggling with this. You can also take out these helicopters that are coming. There's going to be about two or three helicopters coming. You can easily shoot them out. They're not really moving around much. You can shoot out the driver and they'll die. So you can just take them out. You can just go out the front then and go round and then take them all out in the helicopters as well. And then, like I say, if you're struggling, just stay inside and you've got lots of cover and you've got NPCs helping you out and you can just shoot them in both directions when they come from either direction you can even throw down some proximity mines and basically once you've completed uh, killing all the enemies a couple of them are going to start running away and then all you've got to do is either kill them or let them run away and then go to Dax to end the mission now the second mission here is the last dose two unusual suspects firstly you need to go to two different locations a and b you can go to which one you want to first or if you're playing with multiple players one go to one the other one goes to the other now, now a I've done this mission twice, and these two have spawned in the same place twice. Okay, they may spawn in different locations, okay? But when you get to A or B, make sure you kill everybody besides the one guy that's on the mini-map is a little white icon with a crown sign, okay? That person you don't want to kill. If you kill that person, it's going to fail the mission. You have to basically interrogate that person by just doing nothing and just standing next to them once you've killed everybody else. So do A first. And then go to B if you're doing this solo. And then when you're at B, or at least when I was at B, like I said, I don't know if these locations change, these A and B locations. They, they may change around. Like there might be some RNG, just random locations, uh, two or three locations or something. Uh, when we went to B, we could actually use the armor Karuma and drive about and not have to worry about getting shot at. Now, when it tells you to go to the third location now, which go to the hippie boss, go and find the hippie boss, kill the hippies around him. This location definitely does change, because like I said, I've done this mission twice. The first time, it was in a location where you couldn't even get the car, okay? It was up in some balcony area. Uh, the second location, we could get the car, and we could drive around and shoot them up. But don't worry, you don't really need an armor crewman to do this. It's pretty easy, These this uh, first section here. And just kill all of the guys around the hippie boss, and then we'll stand next to him. And then once you stand next to him, you can automatically bring your phone out and then ring at Dax. Dax is then going to talk to the guy until the guy tells you to then go to Elysian Island. Now, when you go to Elysian Island, just go around the back here and then go to this 
this locker right here and then go through the door and then you're gonna have to take a picture of five different clues you've got some crate here with some pharmaceutical goods inside it you've got a crate here or a bunch of crates with like weaponry and stuff take a photograph of that as well and then take a photograph of this key card here and then this clipboard here and then this heist prep board here just keep in mind though there's a couple of guys going to walk in they're going to show up on the mini map as red circle icons in a car and then uh, they're just going to walk in so just take them out silently with a silent weapon and then grab the key card and then leave Elysian Island to complete the mission. Now, Last Dose Mission Free Fried Man. This is probably one of my favorite ones out of the Last Dose missions. Now, this mission here, what you need to do is go to Fried Mind's HQ. Fried Mind is the guy from GTA 5 storyline, Michael DeSantis Shrink. Once you get to Fried Mind's HQ, go through the door and you have two guys there. Don't, don't worry about them, just ignore them. Go up the stairs here. And when you go up the stairs, when you get to the floor, let this guy walk past this guy, then shoot this guy in the head. Now you're going to go in the double doors here, and it's going to be two guys at the bottom of the stairs. Shoot them both in the head very quickly to not set the alarm off. Now go up the stairs, shoot this guy in the middle of the stairs in the back of the head, and then you can have another double kill. Take those two out. Now this main room here is pretty easy to basically not have the alarm go off, okay? Be smart about this. Shoot people in the head when there's nobody looking okay you should be able to get all of these kills without setting the alarm off i don't even know what happens when the alarm sets off i've done this mission twice and both times the alarm didn't set off now i'm not the best at stealth i'm not bad i am an original metal gear solid player here and um hitman as well but yeah basically take all these guys out and then what you have to do is find a clue to locate Lab Rat. Now, it's just a clipboard and it's going to be randomly in here. It's always going to be in the same location. So just keep looking around until you find the clipboard. And then you have to find some keys to access the basement. Now, when you go down the stairs, you're going to run into Luchadora. And then go through the door with Luchadora. And then shoot up all of the guys down here in the basement. Be very careful because a lot of these guys like to hide and wait for you to come out. And then all of a sudden, they're there in your face with a shotgun. So baby, be very careful, take these guys out. Assault shotgun is good and so is an assault rifle. Now, once the cutscene's over, take Luchadora and Labrat back to the freak shop. Be very careful, you're getting shot at and chased by a lot of guys here. And once you do take them back to the freak shop, that is the mission complete. Okay, now last, those four checking in. Now this mission, you can't even fail this. Well, you can fail this. When you get to the location, the rehab clinic, you have to go to the rehab clinic, and Dax is also driving in a journey along with Luchadora. And basically, when you get to the location, you could die by the enemies right outside the rehab clinic. If you did die enough times, you would fail this mission. Uh, obviously, it's on normal right now, so you, you have an extra life. But after that, once you've killed all those guys and you try and enter the rehab clinic, you're going to then get some sort of gas sprayed in your face and then you're gonna start hallucinating and from from now on this is basically the entire mission you can't die okay so this is like the beatles may, may as well have made these missions because they're holding your hand enough times now Uh, so firstly, you got to kill these clowns. Watch out for this guy at the top. He keeps shooting missiles at you. So take him out. You might have to take him out more than once because he'll respawn. Then after you kill the clowns, you have to kill your craving, which is a bunch of food running around. And then you have to kill your therapist, which is the therapist. You have a bunch of the therapists running around. Kill him a bunch of times. And then kill your ego, which basically kill multiple versions of your gta online character plus you're gonna actually have uh, your buddies that are with you trying to kill you as well so you have to take them out and they'll keep respawning now when it says don't fight it just let it go let them kill you and then a mission will say survived <laughs> and then that's basically the end of the mission and the entire time if you die from all of these npcs like the therapist and the craving and all that sort of stuff don't worry about it you'll just keep respawning in the air and falling down and then you'll just carry on so this this mission is basically a walk in the park Last Dose 5 BDKD, the final mission of this entire Dose storyline. Now, this mission here tells you to go and jump in this plane, the Velium, where Luchadora is sitting in the back of it. Now, fly this to the airstrip. Now, you have to fly behind this big, massive cargo plane so you can hack the signal box so you can open up the doors of the, of the back of the plane. You can actually go in front of this plane before... Uh, it starts to take off so like 
try and determine because otherwise it will actually get away from you and move pretty fast due to the plane that you're in being pretty slow so try and go ahead of it a little bit and then kind of like go underneath it but a little bit to the back and you should be able to hack this straight away okay so you press right on the d-pad to hack it and then the cutscene will come up where you crash into the back of the plane and then when you're in the back of the plane start shooting up all of the enemies in the back of the cargo area of the plane shoot your way through it and get to the ladder here now once you climb the ladder then a cutscene will show and then you're going to have to fly the big cargo plane to sandy shores runway but don't worry about it you don't have to land it new players because this is the age of holding your hand oh, yeah, tell you something. because you don't even have to you don't even have to land this thing okay you don't even have to get the wheels out because by the time you get there it cuts it's going to show it's going to automatically land for you but once the cutscene's over you have to now defend the truck here being filled up by uh, Dax with the cargo so what you could do if you if you've already got your personal vehicle spawned from the beginning of the mission that car is actually going to be sitting next to the runway so you can run straight to it if you're struggling with this because on the harder difficulties it might be a pretty hard and that would be very helpful especially for new players because you can have the armor crewman just go around shooting up all the cops and don't have to worry about yourself dying but we make sure you you're protecting the truck and you, you want to have as little damage on that truck as possible because you did have to drive it with the damage that it's taken so obviously more experienced players can come with the vigilante because you can use the vigilante in this mission you can also use the weaponized tamper okay and there'll be brilliant vehicle staff already spawned at the beginning of the mission and then you could just use those to take out the cops that are attacking the truck that is what you then have to drive now when you have to drive the truck what you want to do is go past the prison here you see opposite this prison there's this train track now once you're on this train track follow this train track and this will basically bring you all the way to the freak shop okay once you get to this tunnel go through the tunnel come out the other side you're in the mesa drop down into the ns river jump this little wall here very easily and then deliver the truck to the freak shop and then you've completed it. and if this is your first time you then have the ocelot virtue which is a three million dollar car but we have to wait for a phone call from dax so when dax rings you and there's a yellow icon of a car on the map go straight for that car grab that make sure you've got garage space though okay because rockstar doesn't care if you don't have garage space and you win the car in the casino okay because if you win the, ca the casino car and you don't have garage space they just give you RP instead. So I don't want to be the one, I don't want you to be the one, should I say, who finds out that you didn't have garage space, you grab the car, it tells you to put it in the garage, you don't, you, you can't put it in the garage, and all of a sudden it disappears or something, yeah? So make sure you have garage space before you, you even do that last mission, just, just to be sure. But yeah, um, that, that's how you get the car, okay? Grab the car, put it in your garage, um, just select the garage. It, it lets you select a garage. Oh, and this is also an Amani Tech vehicle as well, so you can put Amani Tech on it. So you might want to put it in your agency where you have your Amani Tech customization garage. So yeah, that's where it's going for me. It's going in my agency, so I can then put the Amani Tech on it whenever I want and swap it about if I wanted to change the Amani Tech on it for a different Amani Tech. So that's another thing. <laughs> 